Um, good day guys, um, Galina here. Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we will be doing the network share drive via MacBrain. So same po sa ginawa natin sa folder redirection, we created a folder dun po sa ating local uh, disk D or dun po sa ating drive D. So ganoon din po yung gagawin natin. First, we need to create a folder. Okay, so let's start guys. So go to your uh, computer or your file explorer with your e drive and then create a new folder and I will be naming this to NSP. So, kahit na naman pong uh, name, pwede nyo naman pong ilagay. Okay? So, pag create nyo po ng folder, then close na po natin ito. Unlike po sa ginawa natin sa folder redirection na we go to the sharing and to the security uh, properties. So, dito po, pag create ng folder, we need to close na the window okay okay guys so if you remember during the installation of file services i also selected the file server resource manager so ito po yung gagawin natin doon sa file server resource manager okay so click on start administrative tools and then file server resource manager so makikreate po tayo ng size para sa ating magiging uh, network shared drive okay so here, Kota Management, double click po natin yan, and then you will find there the Kota Templates. Okay? So meron po dito by default ng mga Kota Templates. May mga 100 MB, 250 MB, and 200 GB. Okay? So since um, masyado po mali, ito itong mga 200 MB, 250 MB, and then for the 200 GB, hindi po enough yung ating uh, storage, yung ating hard drive. So we will create a Kota template. So on the right panel, you will find here the create Kota template. Okay. So for the template name, um, kung ano yung preferred din yun na size. So for example, I'll type um, 50 GB. Okay. So for description, it's optional. Okay. I'll leave it blank. For the space limit, I'll uh, type 50. And then, for the unit, it's GB. So, syempre, template name natin is 50 GB. So, dapat, yung space niya is 50 GB. Okay, because it will uh, give confusion for the users. Bakit? But ganun? Ganun ang name, pero yung total size niya, hindi akma dun sa, sa name ng ating uh, size. Okay. So, we have hard quota and soft quota. For hard quota, it does not allow users to exceed limit, but for the soft quota, it allows the user to exceed limit. So there should be a monitoring for that. Okay, so I'll just select the uh, the default one, which is uh, hard quota. Then click OK. So yon, meron na po tayo 50 GB na quota template. So after this, po close up po natin yon, and later on we will use this quota template or this quota. Close. Now, after the file server resource manager or the quota template, next thing to do is to do the share and storage management. Okay. So on the server manager, click the puya. Expand natin yung roles. Okay. And you'll find here the file services. So expand the file services. And then click share and storage management. Alright? Now, um, C$ dollar sign, D$ dollar sign, meaning po nito is the local DC and the local DCD. Okay? So now, we need to click the provision share. So click provision share on the right panel. Then browse. And then on your D drive, span po natin yan and you'll find there the folder na kinarate natin. Okay? It's D. Click OK. Then click Next. Now, for the NDFS permissions, wala na po tayong papalitan dyan. So, no, do not change NDFS permissions. Click next. And then, for the share protocol, so, share name is NSD. And then, share path, okay. Copy po natin itong network path na to. 
So, computer name slash D, folder name. So, pag nakapin nyo na po yan, just click next. And then, SMB settings. Okay, so specify how the shared folder is to be used by the clients accessing it over the SMB uh, protocol. Okay. So, dito po, wala na po tayong gagawin. Just click next. And then for the permissions, okay, um, let's try yung permissions na pwede mag-edit ang users. So here, it's on the third one. Administrators have full control, of course. All other users and groups have only read access and write access. So ibig sabihin, pag may write access, pwede mag-edit, right? So select natin to, then click next. Then here, yung quota. So, check the apply quota and then select the created quota. Okay? So, by the way, guys, you can create multiple quotas and then you can select which one you're going to use. Okay, so select the 50 GB that we have created. Then click next. Then for the apply file screen, I'll uh, skip it for now. So, next po tayo. And then for the publishing, just click next and then create. So, so now you can see here D, you have successfully completed the provision a shared folder resort. Then click close. All right. So now you can see here the NSD folder with the check mark. All right. So yeah. Then close na po natin. Now that we're done with the share and storage management, we will go to the group policy. Okay, click on start. Then group policy management. Then same thing. Or same GPO. Doon na po ulit tayo. Doon po ang apply natin yung mga taga-accounting users. Okay? Right click, edit. And then, under user configuration, this time, we'll go to the preferences. Expand preferences. Expand window settings. And you'll find here the drive maps. Okay? So, wala pa pong laman ng ating drive maps. So, now, right click drive maps. New map drive. Okay. For the uh, new drive properties, Okay, action is we need to change it to create. Then for the uh, location, we need to uh, put here the path of our folder. Okay, please po natin kasi kinapi po natin niya kanina, di ba? Then for the drive letter, if it's a network drive, start po tayo sa photo. Okay, so say why. X, W, okay? So, huwag na po tayo dito mag-start. Okay? Kasi ito, ito na po ng C. So, local DC, local DCD. And then, for drive A and drive B, ito naman po yung para sa ating mga floppy drives noon. Na ngayon naman po ay wala na. E-drive para po sa mga um, optical drives. And then, uh, there's a added partition. Okay? So, dito po sila po punta. So, we start from the bottom. If it's a network drive. Okay, so... I'll click um, X. I'll select X for now. Then, um, I'll just leave this blank for the uh, username and password because this is optional. Naman. Then, show this drive, show all drives, apply, OK. So now, it shows here, X drive, or the X letter, and then action is create, and then the path. OK? I'll close this, and now, we will apply this to the users. Okay. So, we'll go to the um, Active Directory Users and Computers. Kusang po tayo nag-create ng user accounts. Okay. So, since taga-accounting po yung ating in-applyan ng uh, drive maps. Okay. So, these are our two users. Okay. So, right-click the first user, go to Properties, and then go to the Profile tab. Then on the connect, under home folder, you select the uh, selected letter, X, and then paste the path. This time, put Roger Pay or type Roger Pay. Okay. So under NSD folder or inside the NSD folder, magkikreate po ng folder para kay Roger Pay. So every time na mag-save si Roger Pay, dun po sa kanyang uh, network drive, na nalabas ang network drive sa kanyang computer, dito po pupunta mismo sa kanyang folder because um, secured po ito. If I don't put um, subfolder or type the name of the user, 
So lahat po nung sinesave niya will go to the NSD folder. And if it's the same thing for the other users, so makikita po ng bawat isa kung ano yung sinesave ng bawat isa. Well, it's okay if that is the policy. But if not, if it uh, should be uh, private or much secured, kinakailangan po per user, meron po silang kanya-kanya um, folder. So lahat po na sinesave ni Roger Pedro sa network drive, na directly goes to uh, his folder, hindi po yun makikita no? ibang users. Okay? So, apply, and okay, and then for Trisimac, right-click, properties, and then profile, same thing po, X, paste ka pa, now this one, type Trisimac. Okay, and then apply. Okay. So now, we will check po sa ating client. So, maglalagin po ako ngayon. Okay, let's try first um, Roger. Okay, so now we'll check the... Um, File Explorer of Roger Fed. Okay, so it shows here Roger Fed. So the path DC1 and SD. Okay? okay. So now, guys, I will open a notepad. Okay. Then I'll type Roger Fed. Yes. SD. Okay, and I'll save it. Then go to your uh, network drive. Okay. Then file name, save. Okay. And then let's go to the server to uh, check the NSD folder. Call this D, NSD, and then it shows here Roger Fed and Crazy Mac. Okay, so since nakikita dalawa tayong users and both pinaplay ang kung natin yung sa ating drive maps. Okay, so select kung natin yung Roger Fed, yung po yung sine ni Roger Fed. So sure, pagi Crazy Mac sin since malapan naman po tayo sa si NSD, then it's black. Uh, okay, so Ganun po yung pag-setup ng ating network share drive via Mac Drive. Okay? So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on my next videos. Goodbye.